Do you know how a woman conceives child according to Hinduism? It is written in Matsya Purana. The menstrual flow of a woman suddenly develops conception as soon as it mingles itself with the semen virile of man through the sap of the flowers of herbs. So when semen mixes with menstrual blood, child is conceived according to Hinduism. Hinduism says that a woman can become pregnant by drinking semen. At that time, Menaka was passing by that way. At the sight of her thigh and breast, the semen of the saint was discharged. Thereupon, the woman Kalavati drank it cheerfully, went to her husband, bowed to him and told him everything about her pregnancy. Written in Brahma Vivarta Purana, Brahma Kanda. The Hindu scripture says that the gold was created when the god Shiva ejaculated. Just as a maddened bull, elephant follows a female elephant who is able to conceive pregnancy. Lord Shiva followed the beautiful woman and discharged semen, even though his discharge of semen never goes in vain. O King, wheresoever on the surface of the globe fell the semen of the great personality of Lord Shiva, mines of gold and silver later appeared. If you read the story of Prajapati, he had intercourse with his own daughter. Prajapati went on top of his own daughter Usas. His semen flew away. It was poured on this earth. He made it perfect, thinking let the semen of mine not be spoiled. He made it something real, namely cattle. Do you know how women used to conceive during the ancient period? Well, according to Hinduism, it used to happen just by the will and by the touch. If you read Mahabharata, it says, Sexual Congress, O Chief of the Bharatas, was then not necessary for perpetuating the species. In those days, offspring were begotten by flight of the will. In the age that followed, with Treta, children were begotten by touch alone. The people of that age, even, O Monarch, were above the necessity of sexual congress. It was in the next age, with Dwapara, that the practice of sexual congress originated, O King, to prevail among men. In the Kali age, O Monarch, men have come to marry and live in pairs. Hindu scriptures talks about some bizarre incidents of childbirth. Lord Brahma then gave birth to the demons from his buttocks. And they were very fond of sex because they were too lustful. They approached him for copulation. What if I tell you that babies can be born from male organs too? But that is exactly what Hindu scripture says. If you read Shiva Purana, it says, It is by repeating this mantra that Sukra came out of the belly of Shiva through the penis like the powerful semen. Another bizarre way of conceiving pregnancy according to Hinduism is by drinking semen. If you read Mahabharata, it says, The Rishi thus addressed, answered Janamejaya, O Janamejaya, this my son, deep in ascetic devotions, accomplished in the study of the Vedas and endued with the full force of my asceticism, is born of the womb of a she-snake that had drunk my vital fluid. Sometimes Hindu gods could be naughty and wicked. The Supreme Personality of God had said, If you girls are actually my maid servants, and if you will really do what I say, then come here with your innocent smiles, and let each girl pick out her clothes. If you don't do what I say, I won't give them back to you. And even if the king becomes angry, what can he do? Then shivering from the painful cold, all the young girls rose up, out of the water, covering their pubic area with their hands.